There's no doubt that the Greek people have suffered enormously over the last number of years and like us here in Ireland they've suffered because of the corruption, the greed and the incompetence of a very, very small number of people in their own country and outside. And their government have taken a stand and they as a people have taken a stand and I want to salute and applaud them for that. I think we draw courage and we draw some inspiration from that but we also see how powerful vested interests have attempted to interfere and frankly to try and bully the Greek people. Well I hope as they make up their mind and arrive at their democratic decision at Sunday, on Sunday that the Greek people will not be bullied, that they will stand by their own interests, that they will stand by what is right for their country, that they will take their courage in their hands and they will say to those powerful outside interests, many of them European institutions, that they actually believe in a Europe of equals, in social solidarity, in decency, in human rights for every citizen and every Greek citizen as that. So we've watched with some shock uh, with the manoeuvrings uh, around Greece but I suppose for us as Irish people the most shocking thing has been the position taken by our government by Enda Kenny and Michael Noonan so let's say this very clearly that the manner in which Kenny and Noonan and the entire government have been prepared to throw the Greek people to the wolves to become cheerleaders for the big boys club in Europe does not reflect how we feel that is not the view and the position of the vast, vast majority of Irish people. Most Irish people have not just empathy with the Greek people, but great admiration for the stand that they have taken and great, great hope that they stand their ground.